Some call it insubordination, others call it Bolton's bluster. But I call it the bottomless pit, where wars for Israel just won't quit. We've got the same enemy, you know, that boogeyman Iran, parked some 7,000 miles away, that never attacked another country in over 230 years. Yet Bolton's got his marching orders. I mean, he didn't win Sheldon Adelson's Defender of Israel Award for nothing. I'm truly humbled to receive ZOA's Dr. Miriam and Sheldon Adelson Award for Defense of Israel. This organization has long served as a staunch advocate for the Jewish state, for the Jewish people, for a strong U.S.-Israeli partnership. The cash cow that keeps on giving, milked from the U.S. teat at 10.5 million a day, where only the goys die young in wars that feed that special partnership. And here's that special beneficiary. Boy, am I glad to see you here. <laughs> How are you? Glad to be here. Glad to, to be you. here. Welcome. Thanks for having me over. Thank you. Ambassadors, come on. Come on in. Gee whiz. They're like two schoolgirls, giddy and gushing all over each other. Why not? <laughs> Ambassador Bolton, John, uh, it's a pleasure to see you. We've been friends for many years, and I can testify that in and out of office, you've been a tremendous friend, tremendous friend of Israel, tremendous champion of the American-Israel Alliance. How about just a tremendous champion of America? Uh, and it's uh, particularly momentous to welcome you here after the momentous decisions of uh, President Trump, move the embassy to Jerusalem, uh, get out of the terrible Iran deal. And I look forward to uh, discussing with you a whole array of topics, but the most important one is how to continue to roll back Iran's aggression in the region and to make sure that they never have a nuclear weapon. It's Din Din with Bibsy, where Bolton's going to stick a Band-Aid on Trump's boo-boo. We are not pulling out of Syria. Just reshuffling. U.S. Special Forces are dug in, and the CIA's paramilitary squads remain very active. And Trump's got an escape hatch, too. He vowed he would never, ever tip his hand when unpacking foreign policy. He gave himself a license to lie. He's obsessed on that hobgoblin Iran, which poses no threat to America. So send in his Zio fix-it man, Bolton the Bellicose. And believe me, we'll be eating mouthfuls of sand for a long time to come. Well, it's a, it's a great honor for me to be here. It's great to see you again and uh, talk about the U.S.-Israel relationship. Uh, it's, uh, it's been an exciting year and a half in the Trump administration with some of the things you've mentioned. But obviously, we've got great challenges for Israel, for the United States, for the whole world the Iran nuclear weapons program and ballistic missile programs are right at the top of the list. So I'm delighted to be here and look forward to our discussions. Thank you. Let's have dinner That's good. and talk. Over bombing denuked Iran. Iran is not our challenge. Iran poses no danger to American soil. It's Israel's challenge. World Jewry should have thought twice before colonizing Palestine and waging war on the Palestinians when it plopped its terror state right smack in the middle of an unsympathetic Middle Eastern world. When the sand hits the fan, it's time to change the game plan. Syria was lost long ago. It was lost long ago. And besides that, I don't know what, we're talking about sand and death. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about, you know, vast wealth. We're talking about sand and death. There's nothing left in Syria for Trump to steal. No major resources like Afghanistan's trillion dollar rare earth minerals. Bolton and Bibsy, those Bobsy twins, will not halt airstrikes on Syria. The Kurds can't call in airstrikes, so it means U.S. Special Forces will stay behind to call them in. 
Has Trump fired Bolton yet? Nah. He and Pompeo are Trump's two stars in his show. We're pulling out of Syria, but we're doing it and we won't be finally pulled out until ISIS is gone. It's going quickly. John Bolton is right now over there, as you know, and I have two great stars. And John Bolton is doing a great job and Mike Pompeo is doing a great job. For Israel! Uh, they're very strong and they work hard. For Israel! And as you know, they're doing things that are very, uh, very good. For Israel! We're coming up with some very good results. For Israel! <laughs> I think I'm going to throw up. Please, don't tell me about Trump's pullouts on a full stomach.